Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy and free way to add a sticky footer to your website. So let me scroll down the page and show you exactly what we're going to be pulling off in this tutorial. So in order to follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro. And this right here is actually a template that we could just import from Elementor Pro library. And I'm going to show you how to make this part right down here sticky. So if you watch right here, when you start to scroll down, this becomes a sticky footer and it kind of reveals the footer. So I thought this would be a really cool example because this is a nice call to action. So it kind of draws the user's eye into, you know, filling out this form right here. So let me just jump into the back end and show you how easy it is to set up. So here we are on a blank canvas inside Elementor. So underneath page layout under the settings right here, I just have it as an Elementor canvas. So I just wanted to create this effect on like a landing page. So like I said, this is all built in. So if you want to follow this tutorial step by step, you can do that. So what you would first do is click right here where it says add template. And if you scroll down, you can see underneath pages. Um, it should be this one right here with all the colorful images and everything. Uh, it's called insurance company services page. So you could just click this button right here. It says insert. You can click apply. And what this is going to do, of course, is just add all of the assets and, you know, all the layouts to your page. So of course, when you first get to the page, nothing's going to be sticky. So if you scroll down, you just kind of want to make sure everything is going to load up correctly. All of these little animations are all just built into Elementor and everything looks good. So let's go down here first and I'm going to show you how easy it is to enable the sticky footer. So what you're going to want to do is I have the navigator open over here. And what's nice is they kind of, you know, label out these right here. So it's a little bit easier to follow. So you would click right here where it says footer contact form. And underneath advanced, we're going to go underneath motion effects, sticky, bottom. So that's it. I told you it was very easy. Um, we have to do a few other things, of course, to make this work correctly. But as you can see, when you do that, in most cases, your footer is just going to sit above all of these other containers. So now I'm going to show you how to fix all of these weird little issues. So the very first thing we need to do is assign a Z index to all of these major sections right here and make sure that this footer is at the lowest Z index. So if you're kind of new to what Z indexes are, just think of them as like layers. So you're going to want to make sure that your footer is on the bottom and all of these other ones right here, all of your other sections are above it. So like I said, select the section underneath advanced, give it a number that's going to be lower than your other one. So let's just call this one 10, for example. So now what we need to do is go to each one of these sections and give it a higher number. So I'm just going to fast forward the video and give each one of these sections above it uh, a Z index of 100. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward. Okay, so now you should have all of your sections with your Z indexes correct. And now if you start to scroll through the website, you probably think that you broke something at this point. Uh, the good news is you didn't break anything. This is normal. This is how this type of stuff functions, what you have to do now is assign these sections like a background color and then kind of bump these things up so we don't have any of these weird gaps. So the problem is, like I said, like this section right here, you could see it's working correctly, but it has no white background. So the white background is kind of like the default background for this page. So you have to force a background onto these sections. So let me just go section by section and make sure everything is going to work correctly. So the first section is, is fine. Actually, you don't have to worry about anything on this hero section because there's already like this blue purplish background color. So now if we go underneath insurance types, this next section, we need to go ahead, click on there and go under classic and let's add a white background. So as you can see, that worked out good, but now we have like this weird gap in between these sections. And that's because if you look right here, the margin is set to 10% instead of doing a padding. So what we need to do is go ahead and fix any of these weird little gaps. And you could just go ahead and add like a 10 to the padding and a 10 to the padding on the bottom. So now this next section is seamless. And now you can see it's not, having these weird gaps right here. So you're going to have to just go ahead and make sure you do that for all of your sections. And in order to make these things always look good, you have to make sure that your sections are like bumped up next to each other. You can't have any of these weird little margins because it, you're going to start running into some issues. 
So this one right here is fine. So all we need to do is just go ahead, add a white background to this section. So that one looks good. And now this one has that weird margin of 6% at the top. So let's blow that out and put a 6% gap right here for the padding. Change this to a white background as well. So now that section is good. So as you can see, all this is doing is this footer section is always there. It's just, it doesn't get revealed until the very last section is scrolled and then it will start to reveal itself. So it's loading up all these footer assets in the back end. And so when you get to it, it will be nice and seamless. So the next section is this quote section, I believe right here. So we just need to go ahead and make that white. Let's go ahead and make that white. So that one looks good. Um, yeah, this section has these weird little gaps right here of no background. So we just need to go ahead underneath that one, add a white background. And we got one more section, the FAQs, and this one has a 10% margin. So let's take that off the top. So it was on the top and the bottom, change that to a white, and this should be it. So now when you scroll, everything is working correctly. So let's go ahead, hit update, and make sure on the front end, everything is looking good. And here we are on the front end. Let's scroll down the page. Just make sure you don't have any weird gaps or you know, you can see the footer. Cause like I said, the footer's there. It's right, it's right now, right where my cursor is. It's filling up this whole section. You just can't see it. So it's kind of cool little effect. So if you scroll down, now it's going to start to reveal itself right here. So as you can see right here, yeah, that looks like everything is working good. And one last thing to think about is, do you want this to work on tablet and mobile as well? So the good thing about the sticky functionality is you can actually disable it if you don't want it at all on let's say tablet and mobile. In order to do that, you just go underneath the footer section, motion effects, and you just turn these off right here. So let's go ahead and see on tablet. If you were to do this functionality on tablet, you can see right here, you have to have to go ahead and anywhere there's those weird margins, you're gonna have to like turn that off. In order to make our life a little bit easier, let's just go ahead and turn that off on tablet and on mobile. So now you can see when you scroll down, you're going to see that the footer is going to not be sticky and then show up down here. And that's it for this Elementor Pro tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.